This Week in the World of Art The Surreality of Salvador Dali Take Shelter in an Underground Art Bunker and Peace Descends on London's Art Scene But first, an exhibition tracing the evolution of Van Gogh's technique from his first experimental drawings to his later masterpieces has opened at the Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam. Van Gogh at work is the result of eight years of research into the Dutch post-impressionists' methods. As well as over 200 paintings, work on paper and sketchbooks, the exhibition features a number of the painter's personal effects, such as tubes of paint, and his only surviving palette. Bored of waking up to reality yet again? Well then, some of the most comprehensive retrospectives of the work of the mustachioed master of surrealism, Salvador Dali, being held at Madrid's Reina Sofia Museum, could be for you. Different sections will lead you through over 200 works by the man, including paintings, or hand-painted dream photographs, as he called them, sculptures, drawings, manuscripts, and installations. What safer place to take an art exhibition than 280 metres below ground in a nuclear bunker? That's what's happening at this subterranean fortress 40 kilometres south of Sarajevo, which, for three months, has been turned into a gallery, displaying works by contemporary artists from 19 countries. Fittingly, there are exhibits which attempt to address the repercussions of nuclear warfare, dotted throughout more than 100 rooms in the underground maze. Fifty-four contemporary Iranian artists are exploring their perspectives of the word peace at this London gallery. Paintings, sculptures, calligraphy and installations by up-and-coming and celebrated artists such as Parviz Tanovli and Sadegh Tabrizi present myriad interpretations of the theme. Peace from the Bottom of My Art, as the show is called, will run at the London Opera Gallery until May the 9th.